Hello and welcome back to another Premier League video where this time I'm talking about six midweek games uh, that were played on Tuesday and Wednesday so midweek and uh, yeah interesting results uh, some more interesting than others uh, in that uh, well I kind of expected many of these uh, games to go as they went but uh, yeah the first game was between Leeds and Nottingham Forest uh, these three games started all at the same time on Tuesday uh, Chelsea Liverpool started 15 minutes later uh, but yeah uh, this game uh, well it was 1-0 for Nottingham Forest but not uh, for that long um, Mangala scored his first goal uh, the Belgian midfielder uh, first goal for uh, Nottingham Forest uh, he hadn't scored before and uh, yeah 1-0 but that wasn't enough because 8 minutes after that uh, leads forward Jack Harrison managed to make the game uh, one one and uh, yeah, uh, at the end of the first half, Luis Sinister made the game two one and uh, yeah, Leeds win this game two one. They now jump past well uh, many teams and uh, well uh, because the re relegation battle is tight, they now jump to what thirteenth or fourteenth place and uh, yeah, uh, but they are not that far above the uh, relegation line uh, in terms of points, so uh, they have to continue doing better. Uh, whereas Nottingham Forest, they are now 17th, so uh, really the last team that would survive uh, until uh, next season in uh, Premier League. So, uh, yeah, they need points uh, desperately as well. So, uh, yeah, two teams that needed points desperately. Leeds got three, and uh, Nottingham Forest, no uh, points for them. Uh, Bournemouth and Brighton, 2-0 uh, win for Brighton. They're away from home. Uh, it's not that expected because, well, uh, Bournemouth, they now dropped to 18th place thanks to that Leeds win. And, uh, yeah, Brighton have been great all season long. So, uh, yeah, they are sixth uh, right now. And, uh, well, uh, they started goal-scoring young Irish forward uh, Evan Ferguson. Fourth goal of the season for him in 11 games. So, uh, yeah, he is really looking, 18-year-old, uh, looking like a superstar already. Uh, let's see, or uh, maybe Superstar is a bit of an uh, overstatement, but he's looking good so far with Brighton. And uh, then Enchiso, also uh, Paraguay midfielder, scored his first goal with Brighton. So yeah, uh, two young players scored uh, for Brighton and that was enough to give them a 2-0 win. Important three points for them as they're trying to uh, maybe get into, well, uh, not sure, top four places, but at least European positions and... If they continue like this and Liverpool and others struggle, uh, why not? Uh, why couldn't they get to maybe top six, top five position? I can see uh, why that. Uh, I can't see why that wouldn't happen for them. Uh, then Aston Villa, they won Leicester, who's changed their coaches recently. Uh, Brenda Rogers wasn't there, but they still lost two one, and they are in trouble. Uh, Leicester being in trouble, two one loss at home, and yeah, Harvey Barnes was the only goal scorer for Leicester. Uh, for Aston Villa, uh, Villa, only Watkins had scored before that 24th minute strike. And uh, yeah, brilliant goal uh, by Bertrand Traore. Uh, top left corner, long shot, uh, made the game 2-1. And Bertrand Traore's uh, goal, thanks to that, Aston Villa get 3 points. And they move up to 7th place, so they really are doing quite well. And uh, yeah, let's see if they could go even higher than that. I doubt it, because there are teams like Brighton who are doing quite well and yeah top five also uh, they are getting enough points that uh, it's hard to think uh, how Aston Villa could climb uh, past any teams but yeah to be honest seventh uh, place is not bad and uh, yeah let's see if they could carry on and uh, get wins and points. Uh, then uh, no goals between Chelsea and Liverpool probably the most awaited match of this match day and yeah it didn't feature any goals so a bit of a disappointment but I'm not that surprised because uh, both teams have uh, struggled and Chelsea especially have struggled with goals. So uh, yeah, even though they sacked Graham Potter, it didn't really help. Now they've got Lampard as a new coach. Uh, well, until end of the season, let's see how that goes. Uh, but one point each, Chelsea continue 11th and Liverpool their Champions League hopes or at least European positions hopes take another hit. Uh, let's see how they will respond this week and uh, when they will play against Arsenal. So that's not going to be easy against league leaders. Uh, then West Ham and Newcastle. Newcastle beat West Ham 5-1 away from home. So 
uh, yeah, West Ham, uh, they had good feelings about their weekend win and yeah, that really didn't continue. Uh, they lost to Newcastle and a uh, five-star performance by Newcastle. Uh, they started the goal scoring by Callum Wilson, uh, was the first goal scorer. Then Joel Linton scored seven minutes after that, 13 minutes strike. Uh, well, uh, after that, Kurt Juma managed to make the game 1-2, so maybe hope for West Ham. Well, that was soon trashed because uh, Callum Wilson scored 46 minutes. Uh, then Alexander Isak after, uh, well, uh, what was Fabianski doing? Uh, well, uh, not that great uh, in that situation. And 4-1 uh, there, easy goal for Isak. And then 5-1 Joel Linton again. Uh, the Brazilian is really doing quite well lately. And 5-1 for Newcastle, they stay third. And uh, yeah, it's looking likely that they would end up in Champions League position. Uh, which given how much money, uh, well, uh, not yet they have not spent that much money that they possibly uh, could have, but uh, yet they have spent some, so, uh, well, it would be maybe a disappointment for Newcastle board if they were to not get to Champions League, so uh, it's nice to see them doing well, uh, they stay third. Uh, then Manchester United, they climb up back to top four place, uh, Rashford scored the only goal, Marcus Rashford, 27th minute strike, and yeah, a brilliant goal from a short distance, and uh, yeah, and that was enough to give them 3 points, Brentford, they dropped to ninth. Let me know your thoughts about these matches uh, that were played between Tuesday and Wednesday, so uh, 6 midweek games, uh, if you're a fan of any of these teams, uh, how do you feel, and uh, yeah, uh, were you surprised by any of these results? And uh, hit the like and subscribe for more Premier League and football content and have a nice day.